Hi everyone, hope you are having a good day. So at this point I have made a few videos on self-hosting, mainly focusing on DPS. But in this video I'll try something different, which is to host a Next.js app on this Raspberry Pi. So hoping this will be a fun experiment and you guys will like the video. And yeah, let's get to it. To get started, visit raspberrypi.com slash software where you have to download the installer. I have already installed it, so let me just open it up. Next, you will need a SD card where we will install the OS. So I'll just take this and insert into my computer. And now you can select your Pi device. Mine is Pi 4. Next, you can choose your OS. You have a bunch of options here like Pi OS 64 bits. This is the most common ones. But you can also choose things like Ubuntu and other Linux distros. I'll just go back and select this choose storage here you can select your SD card next from here we'll go to edit settings make sure to go to services and enable your SSH and then go to general and make sure to add your Wi-Fi details here so you can connect wirelessly and other than that everything looks fine so we'll save yes yes and now it will install the Pi OS in your SD card once it's done, I will just eject my card. We'll insert this in the Raspberry Pi. Let's turn on the power. I think you can see there is a light beeping. And now it should install this. I think it takes like 30 to 60 seconds. Once it's done, I should be able to go to my terminal, ssh, arif logs at pi.local. Yes. Give it my password. And we are in. SLS. Now we can technically host anything in here, but for the purpose of this video, I will host a retro UI which is a Next.js open source UI library so let's go to github and copy the URL I'll use HTTPS since it's open source git clone the URL now let's go into the project retro UI and we can see all of our project files. I also have a docker file in case you are using docker. But for this video I will not use it. Uh, so let's just install node and that should be all we need. Node.js yes. uh, Let's select the OS. Copy this. And I believe this should install Node.js in our Raspberry Pi and also come with PNPM. Okay, it's done. Now let's install all of our project dependencies. So PNPM run install. Sorry, uh, PM, PM install. And you can see it's installing Next.js and all of our other dependencies. Everything is installed. Now we can just run PM, PM run dev. And it's running on localhost 3000. But if you just visit this localhost 3000, it will not work because it's running inside a pi, right? So instead of localhost, we'll just change this to pi.local3000. And there you go. Retro UI is now running on a Raspberry Pi. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we can go to documentations and browse all the components if we need. Uh, like the buttons, uh, the cards and everything. 
Now it's pretty cool, uh, but it's still not production ready, right? Because I cannot share this URL with my friends or the users. You can technically use your public IP and connect a domain to it, but I will not recommend that because it can reveal your public IP, right? And potentially your home address. One of the easiest way to make this publicly accessible is to use Cloudflare Tunnel, which is a free service. So just go to your Cloudflare account and search for Tunnel. Uh, add a tunnel. We'll be using this. Give a tunnel name, retro UI tunnel. Save. Uh, here you can select your OS. Uh, since it's a Raspberry Pi, we'll just select Debian 64 bits. Copy this. And this should install Cloudflare in your Raspberry Pi. After it's done, copy this to authenticate Pi in your machine. Okay, it's done. Next. And now here you can add your domain. So I already added retro UI in Cloudflare, so I just add that i dot retro UI dot dev and we'll turn it to localhost three thousand. Next. And looks like everything worked well. The status is healthy. So now if you go to pi.retroui.dev, I can visit RetroUI. So anyone in the world can just visit pi.retroui.dev and my Raspberry Pi will serve that website. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Uh, I might still keep this running for a while. So when the video is published, you guys can visit pi.retroui.dev and hopefully we'll be able to access this. I would like to make some more videos using Raspberry Pi, maybe make my own home lab. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you have any video ideas that includes using a Raspberry Pi. Uh, and yeah, that's all for this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.